Nevada, world renowned for its floor shows, slot machines, and neon glow. But a better kept secret lies in the high desert valleys of the state's northern reaches. Quiet, beautiful, and vast, it's an outdoor paradise teeming with the rich sights of the Old West. It's also the location of one of the highest quality opal fields on the planet. The black opal from here would be the finest black opal in the world. You know, you think of Australia, but boy, when you see this stuff, it's, it's awesome. Welcome to the Royal Peacock Opal Mine, where any old body can try to strike it rich. And plenty do. It's been appraised about four or five thousand. I was told I shouldn't get anything under three thousand dollars for the piece. Everything I found on that trip in June was black opal, and it took home about six thousand dollars worth of it. Then there's Pat Riles, who can swing a pick like a pro. I have had some practice before. We own the Opal Negra mine here in Bridgeton Valley, and we get black precious opal out of our claim too. But today we're giving ourselves a treat and digging here at the Royal Peacock. Despite her obvious ability with a pickaxe, her favorite tool is an ordinary household screwdriver. It's a way to use a screwdriver in the wall. Pat chips away at the clay-filled earth, and when she catches a glimpse of a black shiny material in a rock, she immediately places it in a bucket of water to loosen the dirt. After the dirt washes away, she finds fiery opal inside. We got here about nine o'clock this morning, and by ten o'clock, I'd probably found fifty thousand dollars worth of precious black opal. The Royal Peacock is 570 miles from Las Vegas, and just a four and a half hour drive northeast of Reno. It's a magnificent desolation. Single lane blacktop leads you through unspoiled country, where wild burrows barely bat an eye at passing visitors. Ten miles of dirt road takes you to the mine, and $70 buys you the right to dig for a day. The miner's perspective on the fee is very, well, very Las Vegas. This is Nevada, and opal mining is another way to gamble. It's a great way to gamble because you get some influence. The house doesn't always win. That's great. Harry Wilson is the grand old man of the Royal Peacock. His family has owned the mine for more than five decades. With opal hunting in his veins, he understands why people come here from all over the world. It's just a passion that you, you have because every time you dig an opal, it's different. And you can figure that it laid there for 14 to 15 million years old, these beds are. And you're the first one to ever lay eyes on it or disturb it. What makes the Nevada opal so valuable is their pure black color. Everybody likes the black opal. That's the precious stone of the, of the whole family. And this is the only place in the world that you get the jet black with color. In it. This color is what makes opal so breathtakingly beautiful. Dazzling flecks of blue, green, yellow, and red. It's what rock hounds call the fire. You see such amazing plays of fire, and some of them will, it looks like it's just intertwined on the outside with, with little miniature vines that were growing around it. And then you look down into the little vines, you might see a little speck of fire coming in that, and it's bedded in, in the opal. It's just gorgeous stuff. Did that come out of there? That one you showed us? How these gorgeous gems were formed, as rockhound Lenny Markey will tell you, is really quite elementary if you have a PhD. Opal is a submassive microcrystalline aggregate and it forms in microfilms inside of viscous openings or on the shells of mineralized organic compounds. In other words, the conditions for making opal are extremely rare. The process began millions of years earlier when this arid land looked like this. 14 million years ago, giant volcanoes erupted burying huge tracts of forest. In time, the trees turned to stone or petrified. Over thousands of years, water bearing trace amounts of opal seeped through the earth and slowly began replacing bits of the petrified wood. If you start finding wood in the bank, 
there's a very high probability that you're going to start finding opal around it. But you start digging around it and try above it, below it, beside it, and all of a sudden you pick those in and you hear the sound of glass breaking, you've hit an opal. And when a miner hits opal, the celebrating begins. My husband found a Primera Grande when he was digging our first year. And the opal dance was something to see, like, like a ninja turtle on his back, kicking his arms and legs. Woohoo! Woohoo! Opal hunting in Nevada really only began with the start of the 20th century. My father was here in 1905 when the opals were discovered. He was working at a ranch as a ranch boss, and uh, that's when they were found. In the beginning, no one thought much of Nevada opal. It had a reputation for being too unstable, prone to cracking. Opals really weren't worth anything. The old buckaroos and whatnot found them on top of the ground, and uh, they used to take them to town and trade them for a beer or a shot of whiskey. Or... Then, Early miners unearthed some exquisitely beautiful stones. It triggered a mini rush. Claim stakes quickly dotted the hills, with dozens of miners hoping to strike it rich. If you want to dig at the Royal Peacock, you've got to bring your own equipment. Pets are strictly optional. You don't need much more than a pick, a screwdriver, and a bucket. Your fee gets you a spot that's yours as long as you keep coming back. Once you get a spot, you keep it as long as you flag it. So you can go back to your campground, the next day you come back, and it's your still. Then you rely on experience, hope, and a little help from your friends. Of course, there is an easier way to find opals at the Royal Peacock Mine. Just stop into the opal shop. Here, co-owner Joy Wilson is always happy to display a wide array of these stunning stones. We sell fluorescent opal, we sell moss opal, we sell wood opal with fire, and we sell specimens, and uh, we sell jewelry, and we sell cut stones. From rings to pendants, to a breathtaking mix of opal and petrified wood called conch, the store has it all, especially satisfied customers. They like earrings, they like rings, they like bracelets, uh, they especially like the black opal from Virgin Valley because it's the state precious gemstone in Nevada. Perhaps the miners aren't in any rush to profit because they know that the majority of Nevada opal is still underground. We have probably the largest uh, opal deposit in Virgin Valley here. It runs for two miles. The opals are there and with a little skill and a little talent and a lot of luck, you might get to take them home. With vast riches, just a shovel full away, the only thing to do is keep digging. At the end of the day, you might be a little sore, but you're sure to have a good time with some like-minded friends. And if Nevada's famous Lady Luck is on your side, you might just leave with an extra 40 or 50 grand. Opal country, gold country, and scores of other treasure sites around the United States are just waiting to be tapped by the lucky traveler. So next time you hit the road, put a field of dreams on your itinerary. Let gold, precious gems, fossils, or even some hidden cash pay for your next trip. <laughs>